back with MrTaxes.ca with special guests and our special co-host. Make sure and tune in weekly Wednesday mornings, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 noon Central. Remember to subscribe and remember to smash, bash, and kick it in the you know what with that like button if you want more videos like this. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Looks like we're live. Yeah, Jesse, you are live. You're always alive. <laughs> Thank heavens. So where are you coming to us from, Jesse? We're in Vancouver. Where are you? I'm in lovely Sherwood Park, Alberta. Just outside of north of Edmonton. Yeah, just east of Edmonton. Yeah. And Carly, our special guest today from Biologics. Hi. That's me. Hi, Robert. How are you doing? Where Where are you located? I'm in Toronto. Toronto, so HQ for Finastra Canada and yeah, basically head offices in Mississauga, but close enough. And the predecessor door. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm just going to queue up our slideshow for today. Uh, what do you have in store for us? So what I'm going to do today is run through uh, the drip campaigns portion of our new product, which is Biologics Expert Pro. I know my colleague Ryan was on the show a couple weeks ago. He covered a lot of really cool stuff, talked about the boards, talked about some automations you can queue up. And yeah, so I'm just going to move along into the drip campaigns and talk about how those work and how you can use those to improve your, your business and your marketing. And that's on the Phylogics Expert Pro platform. And I know Alicia has a link that she can share. So if anybody's looking to give it a test test drive, I know you can sign up for just uh, Phylogics Expert. And with that, I know comes one free order for the NOAs. But it does, yeah. Unlimited, unlimited orders for the NOAs with the Expert Pro. Correct. Yeah. And what's what's the best way for them to listeners, mortgage brokers, if they're tuning in to get on that free trial or to reach out? So I'd be happy if you want to email me directly. Alicia can probably provide that in the chat for us. We'll get that in there. Yeah, that would be great. Feel free to email me directly. Um, you can also send an inquiry through the website as well, which I think Alicia is also going to post. So okay, um, we'll get we'll get all that up there. So Perfect. the agenda, the agenda every week is uh, what are you going to learn? Uh, Carly, our special guest from Phylogics, just uh, let the cat out of the bag. So she's going to have about a 30 minute presentation. We'll have an introduction to Jesse, our co-host every week here at the, we, we call the Dollar Tax Club, the side hustle for your side hustle. Because mortgage brokers can use us for lead generation using us. So, so if you're a mortgage broker and ever wanted to partner with a, an accountant or a tax preparer to help generate leads, we're, we're your source, one-stop shop. Uh, and then we always have a few tax tips because predominantly we are a tax company, a couple tax jokes, some motivational stuff, and we try and keep it light. I know Carly has a great presentation lined up. So the drip campaigns, a lot of uh, brokers try and do this on their own. And Carly's going to show you the inside of Phylogics Expert Pro and show you what it can do. I know there's there's a lot of people in the industry that are trying to do their own drip campaigns. That's something Jesse specializes in. So he does that as a as an outside service. So if, if you're looking to take Phylogics Expert Pro to the next level, that's something we, we can help with here. Just reach out and we'll get you in touch with Jesse. Uh, so this is the 16th webinar of 2022. So the first uh, three Wednesdays of every month, we bring on one of our affiliates, a mortgage broker, to talk about what's going on in the industry and what what's happening you know, in, in the world with clients, uh, updates. We try and bring updates on what's happening with CRA because mortgage brokers, that's one of the key pieces of information you need to get the mortgage approved. So we keep up to date with CRA in the back end with the e-file license registrations and, and what's going on there but you can uh, register for upcoming webinars. And again, hopefully we're gonna have Phylogics on the last Wednesday of every month. Carly's generously uh, offered to do that and possibly some training, some short training tips throughout all the webinars throughout the month if we're able to put something like that together. So lots yeah. of stuff coming up for, for brokers. So who are we? Uh, we are Mr. Taxes. So our trademark is backdated to 19, well, what's the date there? Oh my gosh. My eyes are giving it away. 84, that's uh, that's an old number. So I started doing tax right out of high school with my mother. 
you know, trying to keep me out of trouble and give me something to do. And my grandparents as well doing tax on the side, but I never thought of it as a business. Like there's a whole industry around accounting, which I never knew. A lot of people don't know there's a whole industry. They just think it's something you have to do every year. But we evolved. We, we grew to 42 offices in 2000, end of 2016, we sold out and we relaunched under the same brand. So the, the group that bought us out did not want to take the name. It'd be like Elon Musk taking over Twitter and then calling it, you know, the chat room or something. What did he call it? Jesse, the, the neighborhood. Oh. Uh, I haven't been keeping up with that. I know he's obviously taking it over, but that's about as much as I know at this point. Only only dropped forty four billion to uh, to buy it, and a lot of that was done through lending. I think fifty percent of it was done through financing. So if you were a mortgage broker able to get in on that financing deal, twenty two billion would be your your half. So what's the bips on twenty two billion, Carly? It's a, <laughs> it's a big paycheck. It's it's more than uh, more than enough to retire. Enough to retire. <laughs> It's like the it's like the homes in Vancouver. A condo just went in downtown Vancouver. I think it was a six thousand square foot penthouse condo, top two floors of a building, went for forty two million. But the with, with a lot of those places in Vancouver, West Vancouver, uh, there's not usually mortgages on those. They're usually cash deals. Oh. We talked to a lot of brokers, and you know, once you get up past the five million dollar range, a lot of them are are cash. That's wild. You know, there's financing for the builders, but once the owners come in, they they'll purchase outright with cash. So Jesse, uh, what, what does Jesse have on his resume? Well, I started my first online business in 2016. At the time I was just, I wasn't looking to do anything crazy. I was just looking to supplement some lost income from the oil and gas industry. And it turned out to be really, really good and, and very lucrative. So I went full time online. I've built multiple businesses, trained thousands of people, and ultimately found my passion in just helping people and business owners um, scale their business through lead generation, put systems and processes together, automations, you know, like Rob was talking about earlier, drip campaign, just all these different things that people don't necessarily know how to implement themselves. However, they, they see the value in it. So that's what I specialize in. That's how me and Rob started talking. I reached out about some taxes and, and just accounting stuff. And then we started talking and then one thing led to the next. Now I'm handling a lot of the back end systems with uh, Dollar Tax Club and the affiliate program, just making sure everything runs smoothly there, as well as I'm actually life insurance licensed in most provinces in Alberta or in Canada, I guess. And so now that we're kind of taking that angle, I'm going to be heading the division for Mr. Insurance Alberta, which is really exciting for me as well. So that's that's me and now our our special guest hopefully monthly guest uh i think it's going to be carly so i'll let you read it off i know that previously prior to coming on board with finastra or the phylogics platform you know uh, owned by finastra you were with door but what about uh before door and i think you're muted still maybe carly oh there you go no we got you we got you live we all right so yeah, just give us give us a little background, you know, for a couple minutes. Uh, we'll we'll have a little chat here, and then we'll get into the uh, drip campaigns. What can be done with Phylogics Expert Pro? Perfect. Yeah. So um, really, when I started with Door, that was basically my first uh, jump into kind of the fintech world. Before that, I had been with a couple of small startups, a couple of smaller companies. Definitely a good way to get your feet wet in a whole bunch of different aspects of the business for sure. But started with Door. It was a really fun company. Lost to learn about the mortgage industry, as as I'm sure we all know, it's it's a decently complex world out there. And um, what was your what was your main role with Door? Like, wh how did they bring you on board? What was the uh, the process? Why were you interested in them? You know, were you just looking for a job, or did it have a fit in your career path? I mean, I really loved the idea of kind of a, a startup. As I said, it, I thought it was really cool that you could kind of it, um, have so much to do with so many different parts of a business. So basically what I was hired on to do was be their customer success manager, which gave me a lot of freedom at that point to 
basically expand all of their customer facing activities. So work to set up a couple of webinars pretty early on, and basically just kind of implemented a couple of systems dealing with clients, tried to just improve the way that we communicated with our clients. Obviously, Door was then acquired by Phylogics and Finastro, which is the company I now work for. So with the transition into Phylogics, um, my role basically turned into more of an account management role and dealing more directly with clients, especially as I learned more about the industry, <laughs> that became easier to do. So, um, so when, that's when, you, when you say clients at uh, Phylogics, are your clients predominantly mortgage brokers or do you deal yeah. with the end client? Absolutely. Generally mortgage brokers and mortgage agents Great. and everyone cool. basically using our technology. Yeah. If you've been using Expert Pro, I'm sure you've spoken to me probably at some point. <laughs> Yeah. So what is the uh, the main difference between Expert and Expert Pro? Yeah, great question. So Expert is, as we all know, kind of the old version. It's our legacy platform. Um, it's what the majority of mortgage brokers and agents out there legacy, are. Legacy platform sounds a lot better than the old version. Yeah, we'll call it the legacy platform. <laughs> We refer to it as expert broker internally. So our expert broker legacy platform is the original biologics that most everyone knows and probably doesn't love, um, but everyone uses it. So, so that's our, that's biologics expert. Expert pro is the new version of the platform. So expert pro is basically what door was transitioned into. So when Dora was acquired, the platform was rebranded into Expert Pro. By the way, most people don't know the difference between all of these many names that we're throwing around. Biologics, Expert, Expert Broker, Expert Pro, Expert Plus. There's a lot. So yeah, just kind of new version, old version. Expert Pro is the new version. So, it's like so. software. They always start with version 3.6.4.12.8 slash backslash. Why don't they just put the date on? You know, it's there a, you go. <laughs> April 27, 2022 version. You should patent that idea to get everyone doing simple. it. You know, when we, when we save our files, we have, I, you know, last time I checked, we're doing 30,000 plus document orders for Phylogics a month. That's so awesome. we, we count the documents. We, we just surpassed 30,000 a month. So it's a thousand documents a day for brokers. Uh, we have a file naming protocol and we use year, month, day, just eight character numeric 2022 0407. And that way every document's listed in chronological order. And Try it's to all going to be different as well. You're not going to be worried about reusing the same number, which is always yeah. good. Too. And it always goes. So uh, you can queue up your presentation, Carly. I know there's some brokers okay. just uh, dying to, you know, learn how to use this and they will be able to get this on the replay as well. So if you're watching this on the replay, you know, have at it, you can rewind, you can take notes, et cetera. Uh, more, more importantly though, if you, if you like the webinars that we're putting on here with Phylogics, just remember to subscribe and, and like uh, in the comment section below, uh, put your comments in questions. If it is on YouTube though, if you're watching this on the replay, we won't be able to answer live that is the only uh, downside so we'll minimize our screens carly will will field questions from any any of the listeners we'll try and get those to you uh, after your presentation if you need us to pop on let us know uh, but it's all yours Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, thanks for passing me the floor. Again, if, if you guys have questions or anything comes up while I'm going through this, feel free to interrupt. Um, I'm happy, happy to answer as we go along. So for anyone who hasn't seen Expert Pro before, this is what we call the dashboard. This is what you're going to see as soon as you log into the platform. Um, it's basically a high level overview of all of your data, shows your client birthdays, mortgage renewals coming up. It has my calendar um, as connected to my email and everything in here. And again, yeah, basically high level overview of your data. The next tab I want to go to is the board section. This is really where most of our brokers and agents are spending most of their time in the platform. So the board page is really, it's set up to represent your workflow. I know Ryan's covered a lot of this last time. I don't want to kind of go over too much again, but basically it's fully personalizable. You can customize all of your fields, change the names of any of these, what we call statuses, basically to make sure that this board represents your your workflow and your business. So you'll see I have new lead. I have a, a contacted, I have application received, documents received, et cetera, all the way to paid. So your goal as a mortgage agent and broker is to get your deal from new lead 
all the way to paid. So this is kind of the purpose of the boards. This is what they're used for. Another thing that I know Ryan covered in one of the previous sessions with you guys is he went over the automations. So you can actually attach automations to your board. You can see there's a little email in the corner of some of my statuses. This means that when a client profile or one of these deals here is moved into this status, there's an automatic email that will go out to that client. So that is one of the automations that you can, can set up in your board. There's also automatic tasks that you can set up to, to trigger when you move your client through the, the board and your workflow. There's emails to refers, et cetera. So you can basically set up your board to kind of maximize automation so that you don't have to come in and send those same emails every time. To get to Drift campaigns, because that is what we, we said we were going to talk about here, Drift campaigns are basically the ability to, instead of just sending one email to your client, as soon as, you know, just say I move my client into the contacted status, a drip campaign is something that you can set up so that instead of, again, that one email, you can have multiple emails being sent out to that client spaced out in whatever time works for you. So for example, if I move my client into the contacted section, if I've set up a drip campaign, I can have an email sent to that client immediately. And then two weeks later, I can have another email sent out to that client. A month after that, there's another email sent out to that client. Six months after that, there's another email sent out. So it's really just automating an entire string of emails so that rather than just having one thing happening, you have seven different emails going out and you don't even have to think about it. There's one trigger and, and then your, your client will just continue receiving those. Uh, so a lot of what we see brokers and, and agents using drip campaigns for the most in the system is generally for new leads. So as soon as a new lead comes into your new lead status, you can have a drip campaign set up to immediately start contacting that client. So you can reach out every week, every couple of days with different emails, contacting your new leads that you have come in. Um, the other kind of drip campaign that we see really commonly are for post-funded clients. So if you move your client into this closing completed status, their deal's done, you've done everything from your end, the client has their funded, their funded mortgage, that's when you can have this drip campaign kick in and it would be just following up with your clients, ensuring that you have those multiple emails going out maybe for the next year, maybe even the next couple of years, just making sure that you're always touching base with those clients so that you are always staying top of mind. Because um, the worst thing that you can have is for your client to forget about you and then um, overlook when it's time for renewals. So to set up your drip campaign in the system, the first thing you're actually going to have to do is in the left navigation panel here, set up a couple of templates. So under your marketing section, there is a templates um, tab here. In the templates tab, Basically, we have a number of, um, I guess, pre-made templates available that, that you can use. So you don't have to click create new and start from absolute scratch. You can kind of flip through the templates that we have available already and edit some of those templates. So for my drip campaign, I'm going to go to a generic template and I'm going to use this open house template. So once I choose the template I want to use, this is the original version, so I can't actually edit this version here. What I can do is duplicate the uh, the template that we have available. I'm going to create a name for it. So I'm going to call this drip campaign email one, and I'm going to create my template. And what's going to happen when it loads is it's going to give me an email editor uh, so I can basically go in and edit all of the information in uh, in my template. So I can add images, I can add buttons, I can add text, I can change the text, I can add social media icons, etc. So as soon as that loads, we'll see exactly what that looks like. Okay, so this is the, the email that I've chosen. So what I can do is click here and edit the text up here. So let's say, again, this is a post-closing post drip campaign, for example. I can change my color of my text and everything. And I can call this something like, congratulations on your new home. 
I can update these photos if I want. If I don't like some of these photos, I can also delete some of the, the images and the content in, the, um, in my email. This is obviously filler text, so I can put whatever information I want in here. I can go back to my content and add another image up top. So really, you're completely personalizing your email to something that you want to send to your client. So I can insert my logo that I have here. I can drag a button into here, apply now, always a good button to have. Basically, edit my template, change my colors, edit all the information. And when I am ready to go with this template, I can go ahead and click to save it. So once I've created all of the templates, let's go back to my editor page. So again, this is just my main template section and I can see that new email that I've just created um, right here in my template section. Now, instead of saying duplicate, it says edit because this is now my template. So I can go in and, and play around with this as much as I want. To turn this into a drip campaign, we're now going to head to the drip campaigns tab under the automation section. So you'll see I have a couple of drip campaigns in here already, but basically to create a new campaign, I'm just going to go ahead and click create drip campaign. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call this my post funding drip campaign and I'm going to go ahead and click create and now it's basically going to load up my entire drip campaign the whole setup page so the first thing I need to enter is my name this is of course so your clients know who is sending them the email um, you'll have to create an email uh, that you can can send this from so I already have a couple in here so I'm going to go ahead and choose my carlyfotiafinastro.com email I can add contact information. So I most likely want this to be my business address. Um, so I'll just use the address lookup and get that in there. And now we have our entry criteria. So basically we need to decide um, what is the condition by which the client will enter the drip campaign. So because this is a post funding drip campaign, I want this, this drip campaign to be sent out to my clients who have, have funded their properties. So I can click here to add an entry criteria and it's going to ask me to fill in a couple of options here. So when, and I can choose the trigger. Um, so I can choose to have my clients enter the strip campaign when their profiles are marked as inactive, profiles are reactivated, a new client profile is created or the status is changed. For me, I'm going to go with client profile status changed because I want this to, to be connected to my client board. And I basically want my client to enter this status when they get to that closing completed status. If you choose client profile created, that's probably the second most popular option in here. Um, client profile created means that as soon as a new client is created on that board, they would automatically be entered into the drip campaign. So um, this might be a great option if you're creating a drip campaign for new leads or something, because it would mean that any new lead that's added onto that board is going to go into that campaign automatically. So let's go ahead and choose client profile status changed. And I'm going to select my board. So I'm going to go ahead and click my client board. And now I'm going to click my status. So I want it in my closing completed status, again, because it's my post funding drip campaign. So I can go ahead and select that. So that's all, that's my entry criteria. Basically all I've said is that when my client profile is moved into the closing completed status on my board, I want them to enter into my drip campaign. I can also add an exit criteria. So this would be something like, let's take that new lead example again. So if your client is entered into this drip campaign as a new lead, maybe if they respond to that email and you get into communication with them, then you would want to remove them from this drip campaign. The exit criteria works the same way. So you can have a client removed from the campaign if, for example, a client profile status is changed to contacted or to paid or to application received or something like that. Um, but for the purposes of my post funding drip campaign, I'm just going to leave that exit criteria blank. The last section here is um, is basically selecting the emails and setting up that drip campaign. So you can choose between having the first email sent instantly or waiting a number of days or weeks or months or years for that email to be sent out. So in this case, let's go ahead and have that first email sent out instantly. So now I can select my first email. 
So I'm going to have to add a subject in preview text, but first I'm just going to click here to begin designing my email. Because we had already been into that template section and we have already created our email that we want to use in the drip campaign, all we have to do is click select under that email and that will um, load up this email within the drip campaign. Perfect. So now I have this email. I can click preview if I want to make sure that it's the correct email that I've chosen. Um, and basically all I need to do now is add a subject for that, uh, that first email in the drip campaign. So if I'm sending this email instantly, I probably want this email or this subject line to be something like congratulations on your new home preview text. The preview text is when you receive an email, you'll have the subject line and you'll have the sort of smaller grayed out text underneath the subject. So because we are sending these emails as templated kind of marketing emails, your email editor or your client's email won't actually be able to go in and grab a preview text um, from your email itself. So you can actually choose what you want that preview text to say by typing it in here. So it can be the same thing as your subject line or um, it, it can really be anything you want, but it's just going to be that little portion of text right underneath the email subject. I can choose to CC my co-applicants into this email as well if there happens to be a co-applicant on that deal, or I can send a separate email to my co-applicant, which will, will, will just send two different emails, one to my main applicant, one to my co-applicant. So I'm going to go ahead and CC the co-applicant, and that's it. Now I've created one of the emails in my drip campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and save my changes, and then we can review what we've just done. So again, I'm the sender. This is my address information, the email address that it's being sent from. My clients are entering my drip campaign when their client profile status is changed on my client board to the closing completed status. And at that point, instantly, my clients are going to get this email that I've created saying congratulations. Now, the best part about drip campaigns and what makes them drip campaigns rather than automations is that I can continue adding emails into this thread. So after I first, I have my, my email sent automatically. After that, I want to wait maybe two weeks and then I want to check in with my client again. So all I have to do is click two weeks before sending the next email and then I'm just recreating this process again. So now I'm going ahead, I'm clicking here, I'm going to select another email. So let's just say that this template was the other email that I've set up here. I can click select to select that email. I'll add a subject, how is your new home? I can add that as my preview text as well. I can CC my co-applicant and I can save my changes. So now I have two emails in my drip campaign. And as we discussed, you can basically just keep going with that for as long as you want, um, sending as many emails as you want. So maybe after that, I wanna make, wait six months before I contact my client again. I'll go back to my templates. I'll pull in another email that I would like to use and I'm adding another subject line. So I think you get the picture here, CC co-applicants, save changes. Once I'm done creating my drip campaign, I can go ahead and click active to just turn it on. And if I head back to my drip campaign section here, I'll see my new drip campaign is now active. Um, there's some data about your drip campaigns as well. So you'll see in my test drip campaign that was created nine months ago, there's a couple of clients that have been added into it. If I click view clients, I'll actually see which of my clients have been added into the campaign and who's currently in this drip campaign. So let's go ahead back to my board and let's do a quick, a quick test or a quick review. So basically, Susan Thomas, my client here, is in the conditions section of my board. As soon as I move her into the closing completed status, she should be entered into my drip campaign and she should start receiving all of those emails. Um, so there you go. You can see immediately Susan Thomas's profile was added to the post funding drip campaign April 27th. And there you go, that's how drip campaigns work. Again, if you head back to your drip campaigns page, I can turn this off. If I want to um, deactivate it for a little while, um, I can also, again, if I click view clients, I can remove my clients from the drip campaign. So if I want to, to take a couple of clients out, maybe I don't want them to receive those emails anymore, I can click delete selected. 
And additionally, once you go back into the campaign after it's set up, you should get some data on exactly what happened with each of those emails. So for example, in this case, I can see my first email, there were 12 opens in total, five unique opens. So five different people opened the email. My open rate's 100%, which is fantastic. I've sent out five emails, five emails were delivered and four people clicked through within that email. And it'll give you some stats on each of the emails that you've sent as well. So you can see how successful those drip campaigns are. Um, and that is basically what I have to cover there. Any questions? That's, uh, drip, drip campaigns in a nutshell. There you go, in a nutshell. Yeah, I, I have a list of, I have a load of questions. Okay. I know we have a couple of brokers on this morning. So if they have questions, remember on the right hand side of your screen, if you make Webinar Jam full screen, you can, you can get your questions in there. I know Jesse always is always the devil's advocate because he does this for a living. He does it for us. We are working together. Yeah. I think just from the outset, I know there's different pricing models for, Expert Pro, I know there's the off the shelf model, but if you're part of a brokerage that has Expert Pro and you want to get involved, what we're paying for software, just our funnel software alone is 250 a month US. And then we have constant contact for our email campaigns. And then we have our CRM, which we're using Keep or the old version of Infusionsoft. So between the three of those with our licenses, we're paying over a thousand dollars a month. Right. And I know, th I know that Expert Pro is about a tenth of that. Just off the shelf pricing is, is close to about a tenth of that. So if you're interested, you know, reach out. We did put the link for the uh, trial for Expert in the uh, chat area. Jesse, this is your first look at this. Mine as well. Uh, I'm sure you get a list of input, suggestions, questions. I don't really have a lot of questions. It's just for me, the more I see the inside of how this works, the more ideas come into my head and the more I like what you guys offer here. You know, it's, it, it's seems to me, I'm not a mortgage broker and I don't know a lot about mortgage, you know, that whole world. But what I do know is anything that can make life and business easier is probably worth it. <laughs> and this just seems to be the all in one tool to help mortgage brokers just help make your life and business run smoother. And that's what I like about it. Yeah, it really it really does allow brokers just to focus on what they do best. And that's getting the you're either, you know, getting deals or closing deals. You, you, you know, if you're if you don't have a lot of business this month, you're out hustling. And this is a way to automate it. I know we have drip campaigns. We use constant contact. I'm th almost thinking of getting my license so we can use this <laughs> because uh, for, for the price and what's included, you know, they're just the entire drip campaign. Just Kartra alone, that's the software we use for our affiliate program. It does have some other things that is not included with uh, Phylogix Expert, but with ours, uh, specifically for our affiliate program, so mortgage brokers that do sign up for our affiliate program, we create posts for them and they, they can use those. We custom design them. We use Canva, which is another software we have to use, whereas Expert Pro has all the templates built in, but we are using uh, Canva, which is a design software for all of our posts. And we have an affiliate code for the broker. So our software actually pays out the affiliate um, payments every month. So brokers that do refer us clients through their affiliate code, through their posts, we pay out that commission every month. And it's 20% of, of business. You know, if somebody comes on for corporate tax work and annual bookkeeping, that's a $4,800 charge. 20% 20, 20 of that is, you know, 960 bucks. So our, our side hustle for your side hustle as a mortgage broker, that's our paid public service announcement for this webinar. So a couple of questions I have, I don't see any of the questions in the chat room, but setting up the, you know, on closing, you can set up an automated email. I think that could be used for a broker. For example, a lot of brokers give closing gifts. You know, it could be a link to your website to refer other people. Hey, thanks for, you know, working with me on your mortgage. You know, I'd love to work with your friends and family. If you have any referrals, here's the link and here's what I pay for referrals or here's the gift I give for referrals. You can set that up to automate it for every mortgage that you close. And that's just one idea that came to mind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, as I said, there's there's so many kinds of automations. There's those just instant emails you can have sent out and then you can get so deep into it with these drip campaigns. I know that some of our clients have it set up for literally five years down the line, just a string of emails and all they do add their client into that status and they know that their clients are just going to be hearing from them for the next five years and they don't have to do anything. So it's, it's definitely made to make your life easier. 
And here uh, I have a question from Neil Callahan. I actually uh, know Neil from years back. He saw our affiliate program. He signed up. He has a question. You know, what is the monthly cost? I don't know if you can say on air because there are different pricing for different brokerages because he says he's already using expert. So is it easy to convert to expert pro from expert? It's super easy. Basically, you can keep your old expert and have expert pro. So they do talk to each other. They communicate with each other. Basically, all you need to do, it's free to get set up with the expert plus platform, which is again, the free version of this platform. And once you're set up with that, you can come to your applications tab, import applications, and you can literally bring all of your applications that are already in Biologics into expert plus or pro. And then when you're ready, upgrade your account to that pro account so you can have unlimited access to all of those marketing features, including those drip campaigns. And base rate at the moment is $99 a month. Um, again, it depends on the brokerage you're with. There's some things we can do, but basically, again, that base rate is 99 But feel free that's, to contact me and we can see if we can- That's 40%. Yeah, that's 40% of what we're paying for our just our funnel software alone. So I'll make yeah. sure and get Neil your contact info and you guys yeah. can have a chat. If somebody's Perfect. looking for help, you know, somebody does like Neil is looking at converting over and Neil is in the Fraser Valley here. If if there's anybody watching the webinars, reach out to Neil Callahan, Morgan's broker uh, in the Fraser Valley here, just outside of Vancouver. But if somebody is looking for help, they want to set up an automation. They have all their emails written out. They have all their images. Can they get help setting up, you know, let's say their first drip campaign is there, is there a, a helpline with Biologics Pro? So what we do have is chat support, which is really awesome. So this purple blob in the corner, it's not just for decoration. If you click into it, the whole message us tab at the top is an inbox. And this is actually a direct line to our chat support. So they're super helpful. If you have questions mm-hmm. while you're going through it, reach out to them. They respond immediately. They are online from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Monday to Friday, um, super helpful. They're also happy to arrange a, a time to speak with you as well. If you'd like to set up a call, they might not be available immediately for a call, but they're happy to set up a time later in the week or the week after to kind of put some time aside and walk through it with you. And I'm also happy to do things like that as well. So I do a lot okay. of one communication with clients as well, just making sure that everyone knows what they're doing and that they're setting up their their drip campaigns and their marketing in the best way and most appropriate way possible. And if there are users on the webinar or you're watching the replay and you have a wish list for training, Carly's uh, you know made the gracious offer to put together some training videos and we're going to work with her on those, maybe some 10, you know, 5 to 10 10 minute training videos on for example, the first one could be a drip campaign just step by step with maybe some notes and we'll be putting those on our webinars every week for the replay and up on our YouTube channel. So that'll, you know, that's something that brokers can look forward to. I know that Door, how, how old is Door now or when, since Door was founded Ooh. to now being owned by Finastra? It's got to be four or five, I think. Four or five um, years? Yeah, it might even be a bit more. Let's I'm go gonna look. I'm gonna look back because we can look up the corporate registrations. I'm gonna find out when they incorporated. There you go. Because that's a true date of birth. Yeah. You, unfortunately, you can't change the date of birth, but you can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll go back to our slideshow. I actually have a screen here that I'm gonna share. Yeah. Where is it here? It's this. I think I just. So this screen, on. this screen here that's showing now is just some of the. Uh, posts or ads that we create for mortgage brokers in our affiliate program. So we created a dozen for each Kim and Colin Murray, two affiliates on our program. And it has some tax tips. You can put mortgage tips in. We'll, we can put your mortgage license number because different provinces have different rules. So we'll be compliant with whatever province you're in. But the, the most important thing about these posts is a QR code that's in the bottom left corner. We create these ads for you. And we, we also put a slider up on our uh, mortgage page on our website. Our website is getting uh, 10,000 plus hits a month. And when we have clients talking to us, our 25,000 plus clients that are looking for a mortgage, we just send them to that page. So if you're an affiliate broker with us, no cost to get involved. And we're only limiting it to 10 in BC, 10 in Alberta and 20 in Ontario to kick this off. So we're almost full. Uh, I know Neil signed up. He's on the call today. And brokers can come on every Wednesday and watch the tips, et cetera, that we have, everything that we're doing. Let me go back to our slideshow. 
here we go. So if you do have questions, get them in the chat area. And Carly, hopefully you can stay on until the end. We're, we're in the home stretch here. So mm -hmm. thanks yeah. so much for that presentation. I learned a few things. I got a few ideas. I was making notes. You know, the big one was on the closing. Uh, before we get to the tax joke of the day, I'll let people read that. But I was working one of my last, it was my last job job before I went out on my own. And it was around the year 2000. I was working in an industrial manufacturing shop. And the reception there also worked uh, with me in accounting. It was the owner's daughter. And I came in one morning and she had business cards on her desk with a picture of her and her fiance on the cards in front of their new home. And it had their address and phone number on there. And I looked at, I came into the office that morning and I looked at them. I said, that's kind of cheesy, isn't it? I said, you just, you know, we used to tease each other. I said, you just work at reception. You know, why do you have your own cards? I'm the CFO. I don't even have my own business cards. She, she said she got all defensive. She said, no, no, no. Look at the back. On the back was her realtor's information. And I thought, how cheesy is that? You know, the, the realtor. And she said, no, 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 no. He explained to me that he gave these to us as a gift. He had somebody come out, take a photo. But she said, you know, when you move and people ask what your new address is, you don't have to remember it. You don't remember your new postal code. You know, when you're going to have a party, you just hand out your cards. Here's my new address. So you don't have to write it out 50 times or you go to the bank. To, to update your new address. And I thought that was one of the coolest closing gifts. And I've mentioned that to realtors and mortgage brokers and some have done it, some haven't, but I just thought that was, you know, when I when I thought about the drip campaign on the closing gifts, you could have a couple options on there. You know, some send a, a gift basket, some send a gift card, you know, for a local restaurant near your new home, whatever it is. But, you know, I thought that was a cool idea. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Um, and I've had the same thought when you first told me that story. I was like, that sounds kind of cheesy. But then I understood the psychology behind it and uh, the benefits for both sides. It's yeah, really and cool Carly, thing. Carly being in marketing, I saw it when I started telling that you, you were shaking your head like you understood what, what the premise was. But, you know, think of how many cards she gave out and how many times she said, oh, look, 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 no, this is my realtor. Did this. And, and like that's subliminal advertising, you know, whatever yeah. it was, 100, 200 cards, it cost maybe 20 or 30 bucks. I like this joke. It's a leash of the putsies together every week. It's relatively simple. We only had what's ours plus 30% of what you think is ours. That is the CRA. So, you know, the top tax bracket in BC, uh, if you're up over 200,000 is close to 50% with uh, the federal tax. Now with the changes this year in the budget, um, if you're over 200,000 in BC, you're going to be paying over 50% of your income in taxes, which is insane. But we have some strategies and tips to help bring that number down. So that's what we do here. And again, our affiliate program with a side hustle for your side hustle. So we don't want mortgage brokers to, to become, you know, tax uh, referral gurus. It's just something that you can offer to your clients. We give discounts to brokers, clients. We can offer complimentary tax returns as a closing gift to brokers for their clients. We, we just take 50% of the fee and you can hand those out as gift cards, et cetera. So we have a lot of features in our affiliate program. If you're interested, just, you know, reach out to us, find out more about it. And what's in it for a mortgage brokers. So part of our affiliate program, they receive referral commissions, social media, website exposure and posts. So we, we bring our brokers on one a week for the first Wednesday, first to third Wednesday of every month. One of our affiliate brokers bring them on, give them some exposure and then it can dis discounted services. And some of the tax tips that we put on those memes for brokers to post, this is one it's, you know, relative to the housing industry is spouses can each take up to 35,000 now to purchase a new home. And it doesn't have to be spouses. It could be a partner, just a business partner, two first time home buyers looking to buy a home, you know, get together. We have first time home buyer uh, webinars that we do. They're on the replay as well on our YouTube channel. But some of the, the additional things that you can get is the, the home buyers grant. A lot of people don't realize, but if you qualify for the first time home buyers program and you pay tax, you can get $750 back on your tax return. I don't know how many people have been a first time home buyer and have missed that. We catch those in our tax review that we offer every client that comes on board. And we do that. That's just one of the hundred plus uh, checkpoints that we go through when we do tax reviews for every member of the dollar tax club. So register for the upcoming events and Q and A. So I had a few questions. Jesse's probably thought of a few by now. And I know Neil had a question there. We covered the cost. So it's, that's something you can't see. It is a hundred dollars, Carly, to get registered. Yeah. Again, $99 is the base, the base rate, but 
as we discussed, if you are with a brokerage, we might have some kind of deal with that brokerage already. There's a few things that we can look at to see if that can be reduced at all. So it's possible. So, so <laughs> you'll have yeah, to if, if your one. brokerage is not with Expert Pro and you want a deal, just reach out to Carly and she can chat with them and get the, the big guns on. See what Ryan. I can do. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it depends on the size of the brokerage, I'm sure, and, and you have. But I know that you do do things for, for larger numbers, which is for great. Sure. You know, yeah. working, working with the broker channel, you have to be flexible. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's just a conversation. So, yeah, happy to have it. Okay, that's that's it for the slideshow. So let's just have a chat. We got about another 10 minutes. And, I mean, I have some other questions here that we could probably go through on on the platform. Customizable images. I know on the templates... I am, I know it's similar to what we use for our email software is constant contact. So you can replace images. You can put your own logos in, et cetera. And again, I mentioned that we use Canva. Canva.com is a free design tool. I was able to use it. My daughter laughed because she's a graphic artist and she does all of our webinars and our PowerPoints, et cetera. But uh, we use it in house. Very easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, basically it's, it's a, pretty basic email editor tool. It, it works the same way as probably the platform that you've been using, Robert, as well as MailChimp. It's really similar. If anyone's used MailChimp before, you won't have a problem using this. But yeah, basically you can, it, it, you know, if you're feeling feeling really good about yourself, you can go ahead and create that email from scratch. You know, you can input all of your own images. You can design it the way you want. You can create columns the way you want. You can change the widths and sizings of everything. Or maybe you're not that into it. Maybe you're, you're not aspiring to be a graphic designer um, and you can just go ahead and use one of those templates and just update the information in it. So uh, question, uh, a question here. If you have an email list and they're not mortgage clients yet, can they be imported? So can you import a list uh, and start the drip campaign that's a good question. So you can definitely import a list and send out individual campaigns. We can actually import the list into the drip campaign itself. So it's a little bit more difficult doing that, but you can definitely import your mailing list from MailChimp or whatever, any of your other sources. And you can set up just kind of those one-off campaigns. So you can send out holiday emails to them. You can send out newsletters, etc., and have all of that scheduled. But again, it wouldn't be the drip campaign specifically. I, I know that's something that uh, Alicia has done. She's uh, she has a calendar up on the board in her office, and she has all of the all of the holidays throughout the year, and she she has images done up in advance. So that'd be something easy to do. A good way to use you know Phylogix Expert Pro to uh, to set up a campaign like that. Yeah, for sure. I know, I know constant contact, the email service that we use has pre-formatted templates, but with the ones that you have in PhiLogic, it's very easy to, you know, I've watched, this is the first time I've seen the inside, you know, working with you guys for almost two years now. Ryan's <laughs> never showed us the inside. Wow. Us the secret preview. Okay. Yeah. We're, I don't know if we're going to have Ryan on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take his place. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. No, I know that you you work together with Ryan and his presentation, uh, which is available on our, our YouTube channel, uh, the webinar he was on uh, last month, he did more of an overview of PhiLogix and all the partners that you have and the way that it all works together. So if you're watching this on the replay, you can go back and watch that as well. I loved his spoke wheel and how all of the services were presented on one slide. I mean, that was a great slide, just showing the size and magnitude of PhiLogix. A lot of people don't know Finastra is a global company managing probably a third of the world's banking software and a 5 billion U.S. market cap. So you have a big brother looking over your shoulder. Yeah. Looking sure. after you. Yeah, I, I watched Ryan's presentation yesterday, actually, and it's it's really, it's, it's a good one for sure. I would definitely recommend taking a look at it. Yeah. Okay. So how can people get a hold of you? Cardi, let's uh, see if Alicia can put something in the chat area. I have the link in there for for the sign up for if I for sure. expert sign up, so I free trial. Question. Yeah, free trial. I'll get you on the expert plus. Um, and yeah, really any questions, send me a quick email. I'm happy to have a chat and yeah, figure out what I can do for you. So hopefully Alicia can post that in the chat for us. 
Jesse, any final words? I just want to say thank you for the presentation. That was really, really well done. And, you know, anyone out there thinking about looking at getting set up with this software, I can tell you firsthand in my industry, there is no one size fits all like this. Um, So this is definitely worth at least looking into if you're on the fence about it. Flylogix was designed and, and built by mortgage brokers. Right, Mohammed uh, is a broker and a boss, and the team that put the software together, the original team at Door, uh, developers and mortgage brokers. They were uh, developers that got their mortgage license to learn the industry to to build the software properly. So that that's the feedback we're getting because we deal with all the orders that come through for the documents uh, from Canada Revenue, and like I said earlier in the webinar, thirty thousand plus documents a month. And we get a lot of feedback from brokers that are really happy with uh, the software and the, you know, the ease of use and all the other partners. I know we've had a chance to speak to a few of them. And you know, the integration with the, the main hub of Finastra, you know, the back end is, again, a $5 billion company. So a lot of resources, a lot of help, a lot of, uh, I said resources, but the, I'm trying to think of the word, you know, the, the different departments. So, you know, you have the credit bureaus, you're working with all the major credit bureaus. If you have an issue there, they have a helpline. If you're having a issue with the NOAs, uh, brokers that are on Phylogis Pro have our direct line so they can reach out to us. One of the things that, uh, and adapting the software as well, because I know from our end, the orders that come through, uh, if there were name issues, CRA changed their algorithm. So if there's a name error, it doesn't tell us anymore if it's first name or last name. Uh, wow. So we got feedback from CRA that said they're changing. Uh, if the name, if it's an error now, uh, you have to go back to the client. But if the client filled out their tax return the previous year and spelled their name wrong, we can't get through. So I know that uh, the order portal on Phylogix Expert Pro, the developers there fix that probably within a couple of days to remove the first name, last name error, just to name error. So there, there's a, a you know, there's a lot of uh, resources I know working in the background mm-hmm. and we're just, we're just three of them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you'll be on, I think it's May 25th is the last Wednesday. So hopefully we, we get you back on May 25th and you can book your calendar for that one. But the first uh, Wednesday uh, this month, we will have a broker on from our affiliate program. You can check the events page to find out who's coming on because I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go there for that yes, and does. yeah carly thanks again for coming on and giving us you know a sneak preview here of the back end of phylogix much appreciated thanks so much for having me uh it's been great to meet both of you and i'm sure i'll, I'll see you guys soon okay we finish it off here with a little intro and outro video every week so until next week uh, we bid you all farewell good luck in the mortgage industry <laughs> <laughs>